here's the map. When I updated it and it showed the comments, and there was two comments that went by, one after the other. Now let me play this in slow mo. This first comment came by, which is already enormous. And then this one. Check this out. Are they in the same orbital plane? Uh, no. They're on an angle coming in. Right, so it's not quite as bad as the Earth. Yeah. However, the gravitational field of an object that big going inside the Mercury orbit should have pulled Mercury right into the sun. Wow. And, and look, at, look at the tail when it's at the sun the tail is still in the Earth's orbit. Well, if you know where the orbit is, you should be able to calculate what the... What the, the gravitational influence was. Yeah, the perturbation is to the orbit. Yeah, we did. If we, we shouldn't be here. Why are we here? <laughs> Why are we here? If it didn't snap back, then we still move. Pardon me? The orbit of the Earth, you know? I mean, if you're saying that it changed the orbit of the Earth, then it's changed. Oh, it didn't. Because if it did change the orbit of the Earth, it would have the the calculation showed that it would have changed it significantly, okay, well, and uh, a significant change in our orbit would have generated tidal waves and all sorts of events on the surface of the planet that we didn't see. Well, well mostly necessarily, yes. Small change over time would be a big change. Over time. A small change in the short time. It wouldn't be a small change. It would be a large change, including Mercury going into the sun behind the comet. <laughs> you know, uh, you're talking a huge gravitational field here, extremely large. Uh, I believe that we were given another chance. We're really not here. We just think we're not. Well, I think we're floating in grace. We're definitely floating in grace at this point, and somebody is taking care of us. Go ahead. And with a tail that large, I'm amazed that we didn't get more of a visual on that thing from her. Well, it's because of the angle at which it, which it came in and the angle of the Earth relative to it. It was not easily available. But there's pictures on the net of it. People took pictures in the morning of the comet. It's enormous. It occurred that quickly. It was pretty yeah, it was moving extremely hours. fast. It moved extremely fast. Within the question of a few days, it was out of our solar system. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. The size of a comet, I mean, the mass of the comet is the size of a comet. The comet is going to appear extremely large, and yet be extremely small, but what we see is expanded gas. They act with the action yeah, the expand. Yeah, the the expanded gas. That's a good point. Uh, the expanded gas of that comet um, is much larger than the sun. You see, you see the size of the of the perturbation and the expansion of the gases around the comet um, makes the size of the comet actually much larger than twice the size of Jupiter. Um, so when they say twice the size of Jupiter, they're talking about the nuclei of this comet because the material around it, this is the size of the sun. The material around it makes it almost as large as the sun. You're talking about size or I'm talking about size. The mass is directly related to its composition, which is supposed to be mostly ice and rocks. So, uh, uh, well, yeah, but that would be an unusual comet. In general, comets are ice and rocks. an extremely large mass. And the calculations show with a, with a comet 
made out of ice and rock of this size, the gravitational field is extraordinary, is enormous. Go ahead. Yeah, this was definitely a comet. They were protected by other forces, but this wasn't, this was just a comet, but was really That's right. Because you see on this on this one, you know, unlike the, the videos of these other objects, you can tell there's a pretty good tail there, you know. I mean, this is a tail the size of an astronomical unit, almost, from the sun to the earth, you know. Um, so that's, you know, that's appropriate for a comet, you see? Go ahead. What's the source of this? Is this, an, this is an animation, obviously, since the Earth is in it, or is it? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this is, uh, this is a program that gives you the activities that are going on in the solar system. But it's based on measurements? Yeah, yeah, it's all absolutely accurate to what's going on out there. At least some of the stuff that's released by NASA. In any case, that's actual footage. Right? That's actual footage. Yeah, this is not an animation. This is pictures taken by Soho of this comet going by. Go ahead. With regards to that, what, what what are your information and thoughts on what the latitude was relative with regards to the sun, where that came from, and was that might that affect? Good that would have created a large perturbation in our daily life. <laughs> now, um, the sun is not, you know, the activity that's going on in our solar system is, is just outrageous right now. You guys need to know about this. It's, uh, it's kind of nuts. This is what the sun does every year. Uh, every 11 years, I'm sorry. It's called the sun cycle. Every 11 year, the sun flips its poles. Its north pole becomes its south pole, and its south pole becomes its north pole. And when it does that, and I, I don't mean that it flips its physical